drink powered by Zion. 31-year-old Brazilian Silva, two years younger than the kid from South Dakota. Now fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, the serial killer, Travis Luter. For the official introductions of this, our main event of the evening, once again, we welcome in Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this UFC bout is brought to you by Zenergy, the ultra premium drink powered by Zions, and Toyo Tires, the official tire of the UFC, Toyo Tires, driven to perform. And now, live from the Manly Bay Resort and Casino, it's time for the main event of the evening, three rounds of fighting in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter who holds a professional record of 12 wins with three losses. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 186 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Travis the Serial Killer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai and Jiu-Jitsu fighter who holds a professional record of 17 wins with four losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, the reigning UFC middleweight champion, Anderson. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Travis. All right, gentlemen, this is the main event. We've gone over your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions at all times. When I tell you to come out, come out ready to fight. Touch gloves. Well, try not to read too much of the eyes of Travis Luter. He's sweating now. Yeah, he is. Here we go. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. The round mound a rebound. Charles Barkley in the house tonight. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Let's do it. And here we go. Our main event of the evening. Silva's going to try to light him up quickly and avoid being taken down by Travis Luter. I think you're going to see him use punches at first. Will he avoid kicks early, Randy, for fear of the takedown? He may. He's got such a good, quick, low kick that he may try it. Uh, and Travis has a little more of a wrestler stance. He's got a little more weight on that front foot than a traditional kickboxing stance, where you put about 60% of the weight on the back foot. So he may get away with some of those low kicks early. But uh, looks to be feeling him out now, just kind of measuring him, trying to figure out the distance. The Spider won the title by defeating Rich Franklin. He also was... Very, very impressive in his win in his UFC debut against Chris Lieben. Different type of fighter in Travis Luter that Silva faces tonight. Whoa. That didn't look good. Very, very poor setup shot from the outside. Travis has got to at least engage in that middle range if he thinks he's going to make the transition against an athlete like Anderson Silva. Well, knees are instinctive. Randy, is that indicative of how weakened Travis is? I, I'm not sure if it's if it's the weakened state from cutting the weight and spending an extra two hours in the sauna yesterday and still not sweating off the two pounds that he was over, or you know I can't imagine that his game plan was. I think he's surprised that Anderson's not coming after him more. High kick by Silva. Silva's knees, as I started to say earlier, Joe and Randy, are very instinctive. So. Oh, Luter's gonna work on top. Did you script that? I mean, that couldn't have been any I, more. I wish I, I wish I could take more credit. <laughs> for you it. know what? And that is exactly what happened when he fought Anderson's former teammate, Pele. He took a big knee, got Pele down, passed his guard up mountain, and then took an arm. What Anderson likes to do from the bottom, he likes to do a body triangle from the bottom because he's got such 
long legs. He likes to control guys by doing that. There he goes. There's the body triangle. He's got long legs. There's not. A, you're gonna find a lot of guys that can do this from the bottom. Yeah, that's very, crazy. Very difficult. But, but it's hard, and it's really hard to breathe, especially if you're in a weakened state, like I'm sure Travis is in. And that'll be something to keep an eye on too, Joe, to see how long his cardio lasts. If that indeed it is effective, Randy. That knee didn't miss by much. Travis, you know, a grazing shot, but boy, that was that was dang near right on the button. Travis has got to be careful that they don't stand him up here. He's got to take advantage of the situation. I mean, we've been seeing a lot of quick stand-ups. Can over, trying to open that guard up. There's a standing in the guard pass. He's got a pass. No! Oh, so that's a nice job to kick it away. Single snatch that low single and follow through was not gonna let him back out on range. Nice job by Travis Luter right there. I bet Travis Luter's right now is wishing that he had not had to cut this much weight and he was in better shape right now. He had plenty of time to prepare for this. He knew he was at a title fight. I just don't understand how, how he let that happen. He's a very smart guy, had a great time. He's got a great sense of humor during the course of the show. And he worked hard, and they put up with a lot on that show, too, as you well know, Randy. Oh, oh I'm oh, going for it. Anderson kicks him off. He's got to stay on him. Travis is going to kicks. Up. Yeah, you've got to watch the up kicks with the spider and those long, long legs. One thing about Travis, he takes a great shot. Yep. He's a tough guy. And then right back to that guard again, though. Anderson's doing a real good job of keeping him in the guard. Two of the four losses in the career of Anderson Silva have been by submission. 11 of his 17 victories have been by knockout. Who's work? Come on. Non-title fight tonight. There's a climbing, climbing again. Travis countering. Oh, well, the pass. Pass. Ooh. This is where it gets exciting. One minute He's remains in round one. one. And remember, this fight is three five-minute rounds. Luter made an adjustment. He knew he was going to bring his legs in and try and kick him away, and he passed right at that moment. Now, Anderson's got Luter's right arm trapped in between his legs. Luter's got to get his right arm out. He did it. Trying to get him out. But he got stuck in half guard now. He's what? looking like he's going to, for a kimura on that side. Now oh, he's mounted. Oh. He baited him. I think yeah, he baited him for that half guard. Absolutely goal. right. Punches. Luder looking to beat Anderson Silva. Luder looking to finish Silva. Travel the first round. And oh, Silva reverses it. it. Let's him sweep it. Very, very bad on bar attempt. Oh, Travis Luder's got to be kicking himself here. That was such a sloppy arm bar attempt by such a good fighter. I mean, his arm bars are usually so much cleaner than that. Had him where he wanted it, mounted. He certainly did. Everyone was on their feet. Travis is going to make him stand up here. He's going to end of the round. My goodness. Very, very interesting first round. It's got to be uh, confidence inspiring in Travis Luter, but at the same time, it's going to make him feel very disappointed that he lost that position from that sloppy arm bar. Let's take a look at that again. Now here's Travis. This is the end. This is where he lost it. Travis is on top. He's landed some bombs here. I mean, he could have easily stopped Anderson Silva here. He's landed some punches. Anderson's stopping him with his hands a little bit, but some of them are getting through. Now here, he goes for this arm. Now that is sloppy. For a guy as good as Travis Luter to get kicked off and bucked away like that is indicative of how weakened and uh, what a weakened state he's in right now. When we talk about the weakened state physically, I've got to imagine mentally, as Mark Telegrotti talks to Travis Luter, he's all over the world right now. And he, uh, like I said in the open, there's nobody Travis, in this stadium more de dejected and disappointed than Travis Luter is to lose and let the, I mean, lose the opportunity to win this belt. Luter still is a competitor. Ready. And a massively Ready. talented one at that. Well, one thing about Luter, he is a calm guy, and he's the type of guy that can handle this horrible situation of adversity. Nice double leg. Drives through. Down again. Got a flight guard, now a full guard. Main event here at UFC 67, Travis Luter in the white trunks, Anderson Silva, the middleweight champion, in the black and yellow trunks. Tim Sylvia takes on Randy Couture, Who? March 3rd. Yes, that's correct. Tim huh? Sylvia, Randy in the natural Couture at Nationwide Arena. UFC 68 available in high definition, available only on pay-per-view. Nice up kick, Travis. Travis. He's 
got it in nice and deep. He does spider his the legs. Oh, whipped around his opponent. He's trying to push that elbow side to get it even tighter. But that's, that's a locked-in triangle. Travis Luter has been here a million times. Notice how he's put his hand on his ear. What that does is create a little bit of space between his shoulder and his neck. It allows him to breathe. As keeps long as the he blood keeps pumping his hand, to his head. Yes. As long as he keeps his hand on his head, he's going to be okay. So we're going to pull down on the back of the head. Looking for more leverage. Travis has been in this situation so many times that he can just relax and stay calm. Whereas a lot of people would get tapped here. Oh, that's so tight, though. Silva looking to submit Travis Luter here in round two. Set this up with a nice up kick. Travis had to come back down into and fell right into the triangle choke. And Travis is going to try to pass to the left side. As soon as this gets light, as soon as it loosens up, he's going to try to move to Anderson Silva's right and pass to his left. And it has loosened up, Joe. A little bit, but it's still tucked under the knee. Watch him try to pass. See? He's going to Now he's going to tighten it again. But this is also, this is straining Anderson Silva's legs to squeeze down on a guy like that for all this time. They can get him the There's the tap. There's the tap. No, 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 It is all over. He tapped. He did tap. He tapped. Travis Luter tapped, and Anderson Silva is victorious. Wow. He stayed in that tight triangle for a dang it long time. Like it was the elbows that made him tap. Yeah, that was it. It was the elbows. Submitted with strikes from the bottom. He couldn't get him with the triangle. Finished him off with those elbows. Let's take a look at the end of the fight. He's got it locked in here. He's throwing some punches. Bang, it's the elbows. That's what forced the tap. It looked like he was almost ready to tap before that. Now, what about those elbows? They look okay to you, Joe? I mean, the point of the elbow coming down on the top of the head. Is that illegal? Well, I mean, they are skipping to off the, the to side. The crown, to the crown it, it is, is, but Randy, I just pointed to you as we watched the replay. They came across. They came across. They were arcing across his yeah. body. What There's is a the weird difference angle. if it's across? I mean, it's the same it's, weapon, it's, right? Yeah, but it's the, from the ceiling up and down that, that is illegal. But and those are arcing there, parallel to the floor. I think they're okay. Why is that illegal? But it's, if you're hitting it with the exact same object, does that make sense? To you? Or is that arcing one of across? It skips off, coming straight up and down. It's pointed. It lands right on the top of the head. I really don't understand the difference, but <laughs> yeah. But it is the <laughs> rule. To answer your question, yes, it's it one of those things. Rule. If a Hall of Famer, two-time world champion, doesn't understand it, <laughs> Anderson Silva. Well, we knew he was always going to remain. Ladies and champion. gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, eleven seconds of the second round, due to a tap out, due to a triangle choke, and the winner is Anderson the Spider. Silva. So the Spider leaves no doubt here tonight. He defeats Travis Luter. Here is Joe. All right, I'm here with the champion, and still champion, even though this is a non-title event. First of all, I want to know how disappointed was Anderson that, that Travis didn't make the weight, and how satisfied is he that he won by submission? Como você estava chateado que não valeu para o cinturão, mas como você está satisfeito finalizando ele? Para mim valeu, o cinturão está aqui, ó. Quem quiser tomar, só vem, bateu o peso e cai dentro. Whatever he said, I'm sure it's good. Yeah. Well, he basically said it to me. It was worth the belt. It didn't matter. And if you want the belt, here it is. Whoever. All right. Take a look at the Mickey's replay and talk us through the submission victory. Fala para nós aqui. Explica aqui a situação do Laíus. Travis é um excelente lutador, mas eu nunca costumo menosprezar nenhum atleta. Meu jiu-jitsu é tão bom quanto em qualquer lutador que está aqui. Valeu, Minotauro! Valeu, Minotauro! Fala de nós, irmão! Hey, he said, you know what? I'm a stand-up fighter, but my jiu-jitsu skills can match up with anyone in this weight class. Obviously, you can see by what I just did to Travis Luter. Uh, well, congratulations to him. Unfortunately, we're sad that this wasn't a title bout, but he is still the champion, and we look forward to seeing him again. Anderson Silva, ladies and gentlemen! Wesley Snipes here. Wesley Snipes here.
He said, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out, watching this, making this show the best show in the world. And I want everybody to come join me at my after party at Body English.